welcome to please. But welcome to uh, number five point three for grade eight in solving percent problems. Uh, as I usually say at the beginning of these videos, I don't expect you to be able to see this. You should have the textbook with you. Uh, so if it's not quite clear, well, gosh darn it, go get your textbook. If you don't have the textbook, then stop watching this YouTube page because you're probably not in my class. Um, we're going to start so talking about solving percent problems. We've talked about percentage in 5.1, 5.2, but now we're going to bring it to the next level. So our first question here, we're going to try this out on our show me boards, and feel free if you want to work together. Tasha conducted a survey of the students in her school. From the results, she calculated 60% of her school students go to school by bus. So I'm just going to start by drawing it out a little, do a little think section. If that's halfway, we'll say that that's 60% and that's by bus, okay? So we'll say bus. Liam knows that 450 students go to the school by bus. Well, then that means 60% is 450 students. How can Liam use these data? Okay, that sounds awkward. Shouldn't it be just, don't they think it should be this data? I guess it's these because it's more than one. To find the number of students in the school. Tasha also found that 50% more students go by bus than walk or drive. Okay, so if this was the bus kids, that means there's 50% more equals the bus. So here's walk or drive times one and a half equals how many kids ride the bus. How many students walk or drive to school? Sketch number lines to illustrate your work. Now I did something similar to number lines here. I'm kind of a block model person. I guess that Singapore problem solving has really affected me over the years. Uh, but these can easily be turned into number lines. So let's try it out on our boards. I'm going to pause the video. We'll talk about it and we'll see if we come up with the answer and probably find a couple different ways that we come up with the answer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we go too far, I was very impressed. Uh, someone found a way to do this without getting into percentages at all. And I, it's so simple and eloquent, and we'll look at it right at the end. So when we first looked at this, it said Tasha con con conducted a survey of students, 60% uh, of the students. So I right away drew this thing here that's kind of like a number line, right? Like where you've got all the students, but then 450 of them go to school by bus, and that's 60% of them go by bus. So that means 60% equals 450 kids. So that means the population of schools more than 450, right? That makes sense? Okay. Liam knows 450 go by a bus, so that's 60%. How can Liam use this data to find the number of students in the school? So first we want to find out how many students are in the school. But then Tasha also finds that 50% more students go by bus, how many walk or drive to school? So we want to know, here's bus, we want to know, oh, we want to know why Mr. Ewer is using a dead pen. There we go. We want to know how many are walking as well. So there's two things we want to find out. How many kids in the school and how many kids are walking. So we got two things. Now I went after how many kids are walking first. And I thought, well this is 450 and that's 60%. So if 60% equals 450, well then what does 1% equal? Because if I knew what 1% equal, I'd be in the money. Then I could times it by 100 and I'd know how many kids are in school. I could times it by 40 and know how many kids walk or bus, right? So I went like this. I took my 450 and I thought, what if I divided that by 60? I would find what 1% is. So I said, if I can find 1%, I can find the rest. So here, I didn't do the work yet. I just did an estimate. And if you look here while I grab my pen, I just went 450 divided by 50, because 50 I thought was an easier number to divide by 
than, um, than 60. And this is just an estimate after all. So 450 divided by 50 equals 9. So I said, well, if 1% equals about 9, can you stop drawing the street with us? Then 40% that's left times 9 would be about 360. And I looked at that and I thought, well, is 360 about two thirds of 450? Yeah, yeah, roughly. How did we get this part? See, this part, it said Tasha found 50% more students go by bus. So if this many walk or drive, this is this many plus 50%. And that's supposed to equal bus. What percentage of population walks? 40. 40, right? 60 and 40 equals 100% of the school population. So here's where my brain is. First, let's take 450 and let's divide it by 60. Did anyone get there? 450 divided by 60, okay. So if I take that, I, what, what is it all 10? I, I don't have a calculator on me, but I can try to do this. I know 45 divided by six, I can get to 42 if I do it seven, right? So I would say I've got seven in there. Does that make sense? Okay, so I've got seven of these. Well, seven times six, that's 420. So I've got 30 left. How many sixes in there? None. So I've got to get to the zero and I'm going to drop that down. How many 60s in 300? I believe that's five. And that makes 300. We're down to zip. So our answer is 7.5. So I have found that 1% equals 7.5. So this is like if I took 450 pieces, cut 60 into 450 pieces, right? Yeah. Or into 60 pieces, I guess, if I cut, you know, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%. 1% would equal 7.5 students. How do you get 0.5 students? With the bandsaw. Come on, you guys take shots. <laughs> Anyhow, oh, forget the busing situation. It's crazy. But you can finally fit more kids in the seats. That's what's important. Yeah. Yeah, because you know how they say three kids per seat? Not grade eight kids. Come on, especially you guys. You guys are like, I don't know, gene freaks. You're like all tall and stuff. Am I the tallest in the class, or when are you guys taller than me yet? Dan's almost as tall. Dan's almost. Okay, well, that's why I got to wear my boots. So, mm -hmm. so 7.5% Oops. <coughs> kids equals 1%. Well, if 7.5 kids equals 1%, well, now this is easy. If this is 40%, I just have to do 40% times what's 1%? 7.5. Someone got a calculator on me? You want to fire that up for me? Yep. Let's see, I know four times seven equals two, that'd be 280, and then the 0.5, so what is it, 300 on the button? Yeah. 300. All right, equals 300. So we've answered part of it. It said, uh, find total number of students. It said, how many kids walk? How many kids walk or drive? Well, we know 450 drive, now we know 300 walk. And then this kid wants to know how many kids in the school. Well, 450 plus 300, 750 kids. That's all. That's cool. Bottom line, how did you find a percent? I want to show you something I thought was really smart. One kid went like this. Nope, sorry, not that. They went like this. And they went times 0.6. This is a pretty smart mistake. I like this mistake. If I said there was 450 kids in the school, how much is 60%? This kid would be bang on. And this kid remembers. It's because this kid knows 5.1 and 5.2 in the textbook. But now we're upping the ante a bit. Now, also, I estimated it. I estimated because you can get pretty wackadoo numbers. Like I saw some numbers were way up there, like 1,800 kids walking, right? So there's no way 1,800 kids. So you need to use those estimates to make sure you're back within range. Just like when I was at Menards and I was doing the lumber and I went, hold on, let's run a quick estimate. Something doesn't line up and I almost bought too much lumber. Good thing I estimated. So let's go back the easy way. You could have done this without doing any percentages. If 450 is 60%, and 150% of the walkers equals this, like walkers are 40%. Well, if walkers are 40%, and bus is 
How much percent is each? Like this, right? Yeah. Right, and then 20, 20. Wait a second. That's 20%. But if this is 450, how much is each box? How many people walk or how many people walk? Yeah, you could have done it without doing any percentages whatsoever. So, hats off to you, Hagatha. You did an amazing job. Did I just mix Helga and Agatha? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, Helga, Agatha. I'll try to work better. All right. Let's go on to a different problem. I want you to race your boards, and we're going to take a look at a little bit more of a simple version of a problem. This is about as big as it gets, this one. So if you were on board for this one, oh, you're racist. If you were kind of on board, you're doing well. If you're not really there yet, don't worry. It was only the first one, and this isn't working, so I'll just go to my mouse. Um, can I get someone to check the time on our lesson here, please?